Welcome back to our series on particle effects in Pixel Mesh, where we are taking uh, this image by the artist Trixie at trixelize.itch.io, and we're just uh, playing around with particles, adding some little effects, hopefully not ruining it in their eyes. Um, and for this video, we're going to focus in on the little fireflies here. Um, so let's get started. And the outer layer here, we've once again we've got a we've got the particle effects, we've got the mask, and now we've got another layer, another outer layer, which is the glow. And so we're using this outermost layer to add this glow effect. Um, without it, they look like that. With it, they look like this. So that's the outermost layer. And then once again here, we've done our masking trick. We've got our color keyed area, we've drawn out of the area in which the particles may roam, and then we have color keyed it out, and then within the particles we've turned on this mask to parent layer thing, which uh, will uh, only allow the fireflies to go wherever there are pixels in the ma in the layer above. So we've, we've drawn out the pixels where the particles can go, and then we've hidden them basically by color keying them out. Okay, so let's get into the particles themselves here. Um, if we turn this off, we can see the one little guy down there. We can zoom in on him over here. There is our beautiful, beautiful little firefly or similar. Um, uh, you can obviously draw any little shape you want and then let pixelization do the rest to kind of give you a nice feel. So let's turn that back on. Uh, this time we're using a different particle emitter type. This type is burst. And what burst does is it basically sends out a whole bunch of particles uh, in a burst uh, from a central spot, which is exactly what these uh, guys are doing here. Uh, again, we've given it 10 seconds of lead up time so that the, the first frame you see in the animation is 10 seconds after the particles have started. So they're all scattered a bit already um, and we have actually given them a direction but you'll notice that our direction range is 360 so and actually it probably could just be 180 but anyway it is the direction is set as down but it's the plus or minus range is the entire area so these these guys can go in any direction and they have no they have no starting speed, but they have a speed range. So each individual particle is moving at a different speed, different speed, plus or minus twenty. Um, so they're going from zero to twenty in any direction, basically. With all of this, we're not rotating them at all, although we could to give it a little bit more variation. Uh, let's see what that does. So if I do the start range, that's just um, how they start oh yeah see that doesn't look as good and you can see that their their movement changes and everything so we'll, we'll we'll leave that for now back to zero uh we aren't scaling them at all we could also if we scaled them a bit it would be like uh that where they've got different sizes this kind of looks like some are in front and some are behind but again the overall effect is uh is not as fun so we'll leave that off and once again here, Wobble is doing a lot of work. Wobble is motion uh, side to side, uh, pe perpendicular to whichever direction it shows up here. So whichever way it's going here, it's also wobbling back and forth uh, as it moves in that direction. So our wobble width here is quite wide. And so here, I'll show you. If I turn this, this was 1.3, let's turn it to zero. This is what they're actually doing, which is not very exciting. And then each of them, while it does that little bit of motion, all of the action comes in with the wobble here. And it gives them that feeling that they're darting out and then coming back to locations. And again, we've got randomness here. I don't know if we turn the randomness off, if it will be quite apparent that it needs it. But you can sort of see they're all, yep, they're all reaching their wobble endpoints at the same time and then coming back, which is no fun. We want them all to be at different points of wobble, and that really creates the magic of the effect. And also, um, the masking is helping a whole lot. You can see the way that they're playing with the edges of the 
with the uh, of the surface here or going behind and playing interacting with the with the bridge and the leaves here and some of them can can fly a little bit in front so it feels a little bit more lively um, and then we are using flicker as well so some of these you'll notice they flicker on and off a little bit to give sort of a firefly effect though really fireflies would be flickering on most uh, off most of the time and then on a little bit but give them a little flicker to give them a little winkiness this is really good for stars as well to have them blink in and out a little bit uh, they're mostly on with a little bit of off time and then a bunch of randomness so that happens at different times for different ones uh, we haven't touched opacity in this one and that's basically it all the magic happens oh let's turn on the one of the best parts which is the glow here and the glow is really nice because as they as they hide you can see the glow turns off when the when the source of the glow is hidden see how that turns off uh, even though the even though the outer range of the glow would still be visible and for the glow we've set it uh, pixel radius of 10 and then divisions and opacity just play with these values uh, you can see what they do but it's it, it changes the way the fall off works and um, you can see these if you zoom in you can see these various uh, sort of gradations of color and opacity that happen with the glow it's a really fun effect so play around with it um, we're also doing a colorize here the same color as the grow, glow that's because the particles let's see if we actually see it we're actually a slightly different color before and I just decided to make sure that they're the same color uh, after the glow happens. And that's it for the fireflies. It's a really fun effect. And uh, thanks again to the artist Trixie, trixelize.h.io, and thanks for watching.